Hello, my name is Jason Chatro, and I'm here today with one of the authors of Michael uh, in the Ariel Saga, which is Aaron Patterson. And Aaron, we sure are glad for you to join us today, and uh, look forward to talking to you here in a few minutes about, uh, or for a few minutes, about what's going on with this with their new book here. Cool, it's glad to be here. Kind of fun, like my ocean background. <laughs> Where are you, uh, Hawaii? Are you right? <laughs> Where are you writing from? Uh, uh, this little coffee shop in Meridian, where I live, um, it's called Maui Wowie. So they have, you know, surfboards and all this Hawaiian gear and waterfall and stuff out front. It's kind of fun. So and there you are. Makes me pretend I'm on the beach, but it's just <laughs> wallpaper. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> well, tell us. Uh, let's jump in real quick here. Um, you know, the, the first book in the Ariel saga had had a lot of success. Ariel, um, and uh, kind of that's the story of, of the, started out this whole saga, um, told in first person story uh, from this teenage girl. You know what are what are some of the themes uh, that the readers seem to be latching onto as as you get feedback from people who are really enjoying the series? Well, I think um, a lot of traditional YA is from the first person only, so the whole thing is in first person. Where this is, it switches back and forth between two time periods. So you have a lot of it is set today in Boise, Idaho, and then the other part is in. Uh, BC Arabia, so it's around 1200, 1250 BC. Um, so you get a little bit of a different um, feel to it, and we wrote it um, that way on purpose to kind of really take you back. So um, you know, most of it's been good feedback. You know, obviously you get some that don't like the the you know back then era because it does have a completely different feel. But for the most part, I think it's it's new and kind of different. So a lot of people like that um, style. So seems to work out. Now, now, what are some of the, I guess, the overarching themes that people, you know, really like, as far as, like, you know, storyline goes that, that you get feedback on or that people want to talk to you about? Um, a lot of people just want, they want to know um, how two guys are writing from, for a teen girl, so that comes up a lot. Um, and then, um, I don't know, a lot of people ask about research, you know, if we had to do a lot of research for the you know the BC periods, um, but yeah, it's 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 kind of a different story with um, you know it's the fallen angel story that a lot of the fallen angel stories are about the Nephilim, uh, the original fallen. So this takes a totally different twist on it, and um, yeah, it's it um, we're we're it, well, the amazing part to me is we're getting a lot of guys that I wasn't really thinking a lot of guys would read it because it's a totally chick cover, but we're getting a lot of guys that like it. In fact, <clears throat> um, a lot of feedback from uh, guys in high school and college that are reading it and really like it. So that's kind of kind of cool. So so now, what, what was it? You mentioned earlier about, you know, uh, writing from the, the perspective of a teenage girl. Um, you know, how, how yeah. did you go approach that and come about doing that? Um, I don't, well, <laughs> there's your Jack Nichols an answer um which isn't kind um no, no just i don't know it, it's uh it, for me it wasn't i mean it wasn't too hard but the, i guess the hardest part is this is um writing from that point of view you can't women are so different so you know you, know, you could you could write kind of your tomboy girl and then all the tomboys would be like oh yeah they're right on and then your chick girls are like no he's off and then if you write from, you know, a cheerleader, bubbly type chick girl, then all of a sudden the tomboys aren't there. So there's so many different variations where a guy is a guy is a guy. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty easy to write a guy. But uh, so, you know, we writing it from that point of view, um, we had to kind of pick the the most prevalent um, things about um, a girl or a woman. And kind of go with that. And so, for the most part, I think we got it. Um, we get a lot more responses from women that say we nailed it than we do negative. And usually, I'm looking about you know 20 percent are saying we're off, and that's I'm kind of taking that as their those are the <laughs> the fringe groups that don't really fall within you know what we're doing. So you know, I don't know. It's really fun because especially as a teen, there's so much um, leeway. You know, you can play. You can you know, everything, every reaction you they have is way more over the top than than normal. So you kind of just take your normal everyday personality and then just get really excited about pretty much everything. 
Well, that's a that's a pretty good description there. <laughs> well, now tell me, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people have been excited about uh, the release of of uh, Michael second book, uh, which has just been released. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about the the story behind that and where you're taking the readers on this next journey. So Michael's um, Errol, what start? You know, we started actually started the book off kind of slow, which isn't my normal writing style. But we knew that it was going to have to be this kind of slow build. And with Michael, it's not like that. It you know you have a little bit in the beginning of uh, aftermath from the first book, and then it pretty much starts going and doesn't stop. So there's a lot lot of action, a lot of a um, lot more connection with Errol and Michael, a lot of dialogue. Um, it's it's a pretty crazy book. You're there's some uh, twists that you're never going to see coming. But uh, uh, as far as I don't. I don't really know what to tell you because if if I tell you anything, then and you haven't read the first one, it's going to totally spoil it. So. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> no, I know. I know. Uh, with the uh, Arrow, you had a, a fan fiction contest, uh, mm-hmm. which I thought was a really cool idea. That uh, you've printed the winner in the back of uh, Michael. Uh, can you tell us a little about uh, the fan fiction contest that you've got going on for Michael now? So we went into a lot of schools, and uh, we allowed the. You know, anyone who wanted to write fan fiction based off of Errol um, to enter their submission and then uh, we pick a winner. So the winner gets, we're going to do a book signing, um, they get a free Kindle, we're going to make it a big deal. So um, a, actually a guy won, which is cool, <laughs> um, a guy named Kyle, and he's he's in American Fork, uh, Utah, and he's a junior high student over there at American Fork Junior High. And so it's pretty pretty exciting. We're going to go down in uh, late August, early September, and do a book signing and a big big thing. But um, we're hoping that will really spark people and kids who really want to write and maybe didn't have a way to get published in an outlet um, to be able to do this. We're going to set something up on my blog where people can enter, uh, you know, their own fan fiction stuff, and we can kind of build it for the next series. So each book. Um, we'll have a fan fiction winner in the back, so they'll actually get published in the print version, the ebook version. Uh, get their name, you know, their their 15 minutes of fame, and I don't know. It's kind of fun. And it's kind of cool to see where uh, everyone's taking it in their own mind. That's great. Now, um, on Thursday, May 17th, got a, a pretty big uh, special promotion planned for the new release here of Michael. Uh, tell us a little about what uh, what people can do, readers, bloggers, to get involved and in, in help and uh, let people know about this book. Okay. So what we're trying to do is get Michael into the top ten on Amazon. So we're trying we're going to do a one-day sale. So on May 17th, which is this Thursday, um, we're gonna, we got a bunch of bloggers uh, doing blog posts. We have a blog hop going on. Um, basically, anyone and everyone who wants to get involved. And we're trying to get everyone to buy the ebook. Um, on that day. So right now we're at like six ninety nine for price point. We're going to drop it to two ninety nine uh, for that day, and then uh, it'll go back up to its normal price after that. So if we have uh, blog hub information, linky tools on my blog, the worst book ever at blogspot.com um, or dot blogspot.com, and then also you can also email me at stonehousepress at hotmail.com. And we can give you more information if you do want to do a blog post or a review. I don't know if you can read the book in a couple days. You could um, to get a review up. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to get a bunch of people involved. So you'll see pretty much on social media everywhere on Thursday all sorts of stuff going out. And then with that, if you're involved in the actual blog tour, um, there's a contest. And the blogger with the most comments uh, we're actually going to give away a Kindle Fire, do a Kindle Fire giveaway, and a bunch of prizes, posters, and, you know, all the fun stuff. Cool. That sounds awesome. So if you just can't help yourself and you want to donate $4 extra to the cause... <laughs> you, you can buy it now if you want. But, you know, it's going to be on sale, so you might as well wait for the sale price. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much, Aaron, and uh, looking forward to hearing about the success and uh, looking forward to you stopping by again and talking some more about publishing and writing and and uh, all the fun stuff that goes along with that. All right, thanks, Jason. All right, we'll see you.